The Pittsburgh Steelers. You saw what they did out there. Yeah. So, you know, are you giving them credit for showing heart for coming back after a 10 to nothing deficit in the first half on the Buffalo Bills? Or are you going to blame this on the Bills for having a bad game? Because I know Josh Allen is your MVP candidate, mm-hmm. and he stunk it up. Right. Absolutely. I mean, let's let's not shy away from it. You just spoke to it perfectly. Josh Allen did not look fantastic. Um, played against an elite defense that came out and really made a statement. I, you know, I even told you, and I feel silly for saying this, I thought Buffalo was going to roll. I really did. Pittsburgh got absolutely exposed. Um, Buffalo played, you know, just a recent tough game in the AFC Championship against a Kansas City team. And But when you look at the Steelers did show that heart, like you just mentioned, did have that 10-0 deficit comeback. And dropping 17 in the fourth quarter, if I'm not mistaken, of that game, that's big. That That's not something the Steelers were doing last year and we know it had to do with the schedule and the cupcake and the what what was it five games in 10 days you know you know things happen with COVID but that's a major statement win um from the Steelers and I think it absolutely speaks to that this defense just doubled down this year TJ Watt with immense pressure on Josh Allen had a great play on him as well and um you know Steelers fans are happy they're really happy but when you look at how the Bills truly produced and you have to look at Josh Allen I mean you expected a bigger game now of course people are going to pay play both sides and say oh well it's the Steelers and TJ watch it check it out they both played we expected a Buffalo win and Pittsburgh came back well put up huge and deserved to win that football game so I think this is more about the Steelers than the Bills I mean I think it's a little bit of both it was a bad football game on both sides both offenses were terrible yeah Hey, Big Ben didn't do much. Like he was getting sacked. He was just throwing just heaving balls up there. I mean, he threw for 188 yards and they won. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're not giving any quarterback credit for that. I mean, on the flip side, Josh Allen threw 51 passes for only 270 yards. Yeah. If you're going to put that many balls in the air, then you should have far more yards than that. At, l- at least 350 there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Najee Harris, he only had 45 yards rushing. He didn't kill it. Right. And he got 100% of the snaps. Yeah, played the whole game. He was the only running back to touch football that game and yeah, what, got 45 yards. My major takeaway from that game was that the Bills' play calling and arrogance is what got them. Yeah. They went for it on multiple fourth downs that were just like, are you serious? Yeah. Fourth and eight just just across midfield and you're going for it. Then you give the ball back to Pittsburgh. Then you went for it on another fourth and one when you were in your own territory. It's like, hey, y'all are doing stuff as if you're playing against the Chiefs or somebody who has an offense so explosive you can't afford to give them the ball back. You know good and well Pittsburgh's offense ain't that good. Punt the ball. Like, that play calling was arrogantly atrocious, like, on so many levels. And even towards, like, to the fact that the Pittsburgh Steelers scored those points, their offense didn't do it. They got a block punt return for a touchdown. They're looking for anything other than the offense to put points on the board, and they got it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't fault their special teams for doing that, but at the same token, it was a bad game on both sides of the ball. Somebody had to win it. It was ugly. Not giving either one of them credit for it. That game sucked. <laughs> Jamila said, say it, Adam. Wesley goes, here comes Jamila. <laughs> that that, that like, game was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely, you know, when you look at all the praise McDermott's got and the coaching staff and uh, Dayball, I believe, correct, over there in Buffalo, um, you know, a lot of praise, a lot of hype, but then when you go out and you're airing the ball out over 50 times, stinking it up like that, I mean, just just no efficient, no true. They just take away from that I'm game. AFC the Bills contender play. play calling. I mean, that was not there for the Bills, so I highly agree with you, Fees. Yeah, man, like it, it was kind of painful to watch. Yeah. I mean, I know. Steeler Nation is beating their chest like, ah, we told you we win. Like, hey, you got a W. Can't take that away from you. But that game was bad on both sides. Yeah. Like, we're we're not going to overreact and act as if y'all have found your stride. Maybe we gave Buffalo too much credit. (laughs) Hey, I mean, it's possible. I'm not mad. I don't like them anyway. Right. They're in my division. (laughs) Right.